This video is not sponsored. Two of the most known websites when it comes to stock elements and templates are undoubtedly Envato Elements and Motion Array. In the past, I've used both and I'm currently subscribed to Motion Array right now on the monthly plan. And in this video, I'm gonna compare both to see which one is better for DaVinci Resolve. If you like today's video, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for future content. To start the comparisons, first things first, pricing. Envato Elements Monthly is $33, Motion Array is $29, however both of them give you discounts if you subscribe to the yearly subscription. Envato Elements come out cheaper on the yearly subscription, reducing your monthly price down to $16.50, making the total yearly cost $198. Motion Array drops down from $29 a month to $20 a month, making your total cost $250 a year. I have links in the descriptions for both. Envato Elements, however, is the only one that offers a 7 day free trial. Using my link will give you $50 off a annual plan. Motion Array is a free plan but as far as getting actual access for DaVinci Resolve, neither one of them are good for that. You can get stock video, sound effects, and some music, but none of the templates and stuff are really available for DaVinci. Now to compare the number of assets available. Evato Elements have it listed on the page. They have 1,676 assets or 35 pages you can scroll through. Motion Array doesn't have it plainly laid out. I had to do some loose math. Judging by the layout of the pages where it's three across and nine down, Roughly in between presets and templates, they have around about 1,215. Now, Evato Elements might have a greater number of assets, but from my personal experience, it seemed like the quality of the assets that you get from Motion Array seem to be higher. In between the two, I've never actually downloaded any assets from Evato to actually use the DRFX installation process. Basically, you just double click and it will automatically install and set itself up for you, which is the method I use to set up any and all my presets. Everything I've downloaded from Evato Elements have always been a template that you have to re-link the media and restore the archive, which is not really a problem. Problem, but there are some times where the assets don't work, which I made a video about about a year or so ago. I'll leave a link here in the, the title card or a link in the description. Now, both Motion Array and Involto Elements have a what they call a learn section where they have different tutorials, but I find Motion Array is the only one that actually caters directly to the venture resolve. Whereas Involto Elements, since they have such a broad scope of assets outside of just video editing, the tutorials and stuff in their learn section actually covers a wide spectrum of topics. Motion Ray has two features that are completely unique to them that Volto Elements don't have at all. On the website, on the tools, they have the video collaboration and they also have the portfolio builder. Now the video review is more or less like a cloud server you can upload client projects to. The clients can then give you real-time feedback on like different edits or something they want like to change and then submit it back to you. You can make those adjustments and revisions and submit it back. And the portfolio builder is basically like a miniature website that you can customize with different templates to upload your work. Now these two features are not beneficial just to DaVinci Resolve, they're actually beneficial to editors as a whole and something to kind of consider that it comes in included with the monthly subscription. To wrap things up in summary, Motion Ray has a higher quality of assets that I've come across, whereas Volto Elements have a greater number of assets. As far as I've seen, Motion Ray is the only one to use a DRFX file installation system, which is really cool because it installs the effects into your effect library. It makes it easier for them to get to, also easier to use. When it comes to installation instructions, Motion Ray does a better job of actually giving you like a PDF layout of how to set up instructions. And Volto Elements do give you a video tutorial, but a lot of times I find that the video tutorial is outdated, which is reason why I made the video on how to install the assets about a year ago. With Motion Ray, I think they also have a greater quality control too, because they're actually partnered with by Artlist and ArtGrid, and they're known for their quality of content. Because one thing I can say with Avato, outside of DaVinci Resolve, they offer Photoshop brushes, website templates, and different texture packs and things like that. You can download. Vato Elements is very beneficial as far as like establishing a brand and you like a unique look for your website or your YouTube channel, things like that. All that being said, there are affiliate links in the description down below. You can start your seven day free trial with Vato Elements or get you $50 off a year subscription with Motion Array. Check out this video here for some music video effects and I'll see you next time.